All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever, so let it be true. Love, honor, and respect to the Creator, Yahweh, to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai, who died for the 12 tribes of Israel. Double honors, double honors to the apostles of GMS, to, to the four major prophets, the minor prophets, and the hopeful elect, the 144,000 brothers, the Achim, who are preaching the word of God to the four corners of this earth. And Shalom to the great multitude of brothers and sisters and children who are watching these videos. We're on another lesson, and today is, I think today's Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know, they, these days are going so fast. But a lot of things, like I said, it's continuing. The Wall Street, the Dow Jones is, is, is going in the gutter. It's been staying in the red, and it's gonna continue. You know, they've been manipulating the stocks, manipulating the people, but high inflation, like I believe we're in hyperinflation. They're saying we're, in, they're now admitting that we're in inflation, and it's just gonna get worse because the gas prices, continue to rise you know in, in many states it's over it's hit over five dollars i believe it's in uh most of california it's like 580 in certain areas off the ocean it's six seven dollars a gallon and then um the truckers they get diesel theirs is well over five dollars and remember these semis I, I believe they only get seven eight miles a gallon so you're talking about hundreds and hundreds of dollars to fill up these semis so, trust me, in the next 30, 60, 90 days, six, uh, six months, prices are going to go right through the roof. Not past the roof, it's going to go straight to the moon. The war continues in Russia, Ukraine. It's getting hot down there, and it's getting hot over there in the China Sea with China and Taiwan. That's a butt to go off. I mean, 2022 is going to be an epic year. A lot of things are happening, but the scriptures today that I'm going to bring out in the lesson is to be rooted in these in this holy book. Be rooted in the word of God of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All the brothers from the apostles, all the way to the great multitude, we're all one body. And um, this these are these beautiful scriptures are scriptures of encouragement for the brothers and sisters out there that we got to stay rooted. In the olive tree, and the who who's the root of the olive tree? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're part of that tree. We're part of that body of one body. So I'm in the holy book of Colossians, the holy book of Colossians. Let me see. We're on chapter two, verse six and seven, where he says, "As you have therefore received Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, the Lord God." So walk in him, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. And that's a beautiful scripture. So where he says right here, as you have therefore received Christ Jesus, that's in the English, but we're speaking in the Hebrew, where Christ is Mashiach and Jesus, which, you know, that's in the English, but we're, we're speaking in the in the ancient Hebrew, which is Yahweh Shai. That's the proper name of everywhere. Every, you know, the Latins call Jesus, and in the, in the English, we call him uh, Jesus. That's the English. During them times, the, 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 the English, there was no J's. That's what you got to look up. But I'm just trying to explain to new brothers and sisters or new people that are watching this, Mashiach is is the ancient Hebrew and Yahweh Shai, that's the ancient Hebrew of the son of the most high <clears throat> so he says so walk in him how do we walk in him by reading this holy book that's how you walk into this truth and stay rooted with this holy book day in and day out that's how you become rooted with God and that's why he says rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught abounding and we've been bringing out these videos not just me from the apostles all the way down to brothers and the great multitude all the brothers and sisters they're they're, they're reading this book you're learning this truth so stay rooted established in the faith 
and as you've been taught to stay with this truth you're learning uh, uh, starting with the ancient Hebrew name of Yahweh the Creator and his holy son Yahweh Shai that's abounding in it with Thanksgiving the Thanksgiving is being a part hopefully we're part of this elect that will make it to the end and always have Thanksgiving <clears throat> and thanking God that we know this truth because the rest of this world is blinded they're in darkness we're in a dark world but we have the light which is this holy book so I'm gonna go and jump to Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16 that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man the strength the might being strengthened in the might and the spirit is this word this is what gives you the strength verse 17 that Mashiach may dwell is verse 17 that Mashiach may dwell in your hearts through faith heart in the ancient Hebrew means the mind you got to keep your mind very strong like a double-edged sword and you and you and you uh, you sharpen it you have to sharpen the mind being in this holy book not reading it one day a month one day a year you have to be in it day in and day out so that's where he says the rich uh, that he that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit which is the word of God in the inner man in the inner of your body in your brain your mind of reading these scriptures and meditating and praying to God verse 17 that Mashiach may dwell in your hearts through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love that faith is knowing this truth and keeping that faith that you're going to endure and your family to the end you see where am I at here that you being rooted that's being rooted reading every day and reading this holy book and abound in love this is true love starting with the apostles the prophets and the servants of God the true love is reading these scriptures being a teacher and, 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 and learning this truth that's true love and all you the great multitude that's love to teach your family that's the true love of this whole truth staying in love because we're the real love is letting everybody what let them know what's coming to this world and it, and it's gonna we're in tribulation we're in the sixth seal it's in uh, all the plagues are coming famine thermal nuclear war that's what's coming to this world so that's true love to let your brothers and sisters to give them the good news of who of this holy book of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh verse 18 may be, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the the width the length and the depth and the height to know the love of Mashiach which passes knowledge this is true knowledge and wisdom is reading this holy book that you may be filled with all the fullness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by reading this whole book you're going to get the whole fullness of this truth this is the real water olive oil the the real wine the, the herbs everything that will keep you alive this is more powerful by reading this word this is the true this is the real food this is the real feast that we're having verse 20 now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him the to him be glory in the church by Mashiach Yahawashai throughout all the ages the world without end so let it be true so if you stay rooted you get this word you read it every day you'll make it to the end all this all the brothers and sisters and having that faith 
and and God was going to give you the power because this is power. This book is real food. This is the real power, and you endure to the end. If you stay loyal to God, God will be loyal to you. And I'm going to stay on the same book, Ephesians. We're going to jump to and we're going to wrap it up, chapter two, verse twenty-one and twenty-two, where he says, "In whom the whole building." Being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know what I was saying? Our, our body, we're one body. We're, we're uh, the, the temple, the building, that's all. That's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're one body. We're one building. We're one temple together because our mind is on the holy book. Our mind is on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And keep an arm's length away from evildoers, from evil people. Don't let evil people come into your house. Don't visit evil people. If they're not in this truth, stay away. They're not part of the body. They're a disease. They're a they're a cancer. And what do you do to cancer? You gotta cut it out. Okay? That's why you gotta start uh, eating your herbs and and uh, your 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 ginger and your beets. That'll kill anything growing in your body so that that's why you don't go visit evil people stay away from people it's you know when you go to work you're around evil people but don't eat with them and don't go to their houses don't break bread with them that's why he says right here in whom the whole building being joined together grows into a holy temple in the lord yahweh because the most high is holy you read this book you're gonna know the truth and how to how to live a godly life, a righteous life, a, a life of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was a good man. He was a holy man. And that's why he was attacked, because they seen the light in him. And he was attacked by demons constantly. Satan and all the generals were after Yahweh Shai. He was persecuted. He went and he preached the word. He did the job. He did, he put in the work. And it was only for the elect, okay? So verse 22, or 20, yeah, 22. In whom you also are being built together. See, us all together, the great multitude. We're all brothers and sisters. And he's building. We're all being built together for a habitation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the spirit. This is the spirit of God, the word of God. This is the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So let it be true. So. We're going to end this lesson. I hope you brothers and sisters were edified. But stay rooted in this holy book and meditate and, and be in prayer to the Most High God and Yahweh and to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai, who died for us, who took the beating, the scars. The, uh, he was humiliated, spit on. He did that for us to bring us back to who? The Heavenly Father. So I'm going to close it out. All praises to the Most High God forever and ever. So let it be true. And double honors to the apostles and all the brothers out there who are true to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who are doing the work. And to all the great multitude, keep on fighting to the end. All his brothers and sisters forever and ever. So let it be true. Till next time. So. Most high willing, I'll be here tomorrow. And pray for all the apostles, the prophets, and all the brothers and sisters. Be in prayer because there's just a lot of wicked. I can feel a lot of evil in, you know, out here in this world. So be in a lot of prayer. Pray for me and I'll pray for you, brothers and sisters. I'm always constantly in prayer and I need to do more. All of us need to do more. But keep in this faith. Shalom.